Hello friends, welcome to Daring Marana YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about International Safety Management Code, the certificates and the, what are the documents that need to comply for the International Safety Management Code and all. So we will discuss about this topic in a detailed way. ISM Code, that means International Safety Management Code. Okay. International Safety Management Code, that is ISM Code means International Management Code for Safe Operation of Ship and for Pollution Prevention. This mainly stands for International Management Code for Safe Operation of Ship and for Pollution Prevention. Ship should have an ISM certification on board. It is a mandatory. In accordance with the ISM Code, copy of document of complaint issued to the company and safety manual certificate is is issued to the ship. Okay. The document of complaint it is issued to the company and safety management certificate that will be issued to the ship. Okay. Ship should have ISM certification on board. In accordance with the ISM code, there should be a copy of document of compliance issued to the company and safety management certificate issued to the ship. SMC, that means safety management certificate, is not valid unless operating company holds a valid DOC for that ship. Okay, we have to understand that safety management certificate, it is not valid unless the operating company holds a valid DOC, that means document of compliance for that ship. The type of ship indicated on the SMC safety management certificate should be same as indicator on the DOC document of complaints. Companies particular indicator of the DOC and SMC should be same. Okay, we have to understand that the ship should have an ISM certification on board in accordance with the ISM code, a copy of document of complaints and issued to the company and safety management certificate issued to the ship should be there on board. Then SMC is normally not valid unless operating company holds a valid DOC for that ship. That means the SMC safety balance certificate should not be valid if the company does not have a proper DOC that means document of complaints about that particular ship. The type of ship indicator on the safety balance certificate that should be same as indicator on the DOC that means document of complaints and company's particulars indicator on the document of complaints and safety management certificate should be same. We have to ensure that. Then ISM card system general objective and application functional requirement and all chapter some chapters then two means safety and environmental policy and sm of safety management certificate safe management certificates mm, then company responsibility four means designated person five means master responsibility six resources and personal developments of plans for shipboard operation emergency preparedness that means general objective application and functional requirement safety and environment policy and sms Company responsibility, designated person, master's responsibility, resources and personal, development of plans for shipboard operation, emergency preparedness, then report and analysis on non conformities, accidents, hazardous occurrence, maintenance of ship equipment, documentation, company verification, review and evaluation, certification, verification and control, report and analysis on non conformities, accidents and hazardous occurrence, maintenance of ship equipment, documentation, etc., company verification, review and evaluation. Certification, verification, and control and all. So, document of compliance means a company owning or operating a ship to which company regulation applies shall hold a document of compliance. Okay. A company owning or operating a ship to which this regulation shall apply shall hold a document of compliance. Document of compliance shall be issued by the authority to a company that complies with the requirements of SOLAS Chapter 9 and the ISM Code. Okay. The document of compliance that will be issued to the authority to a company that complies with the requirements of SOLAS Chapter 9 and the ISM code. Document of compliance this shall be issued for a period not exceeding 5 years. We have to ensure that document of compliance they shall be issued for a period not exceeding 5 years. Okay. Document of compliance means a company owning or operating a ship to which regulation applies shall hold a document of compliance. Then document of compliance shall be issued by the authority to a company that complies with the requirement of SOLAS Chapter 9 and ISM code. The document of compliance shall be issued for a period not exceeding 5 years. The document of compliance shall only be issued following verification of the safety management system of the company complies with the requirement of ISM code and determination of certain objectives evidence proving that safe management system has been effectively implemented and safe management system has been operation for at least 3 months. That means document of compliance they shall be issued only after the verification of safe management system of the company then compliance with the requirement of ism code determination of the objective evidence proving that 
safe management system has been effectively implemented and safe management system has been operation for at least 3 month and safe management system that has been in operation for at least 3 month on board at least one ship of each type operated by the company that we have to ensure that safe management system has been in operation for at least 3 month on board at least one ship of each type operated by the company document of compliance this shall be subjected to annual verification within 3 month before or after the anniversary date to confirm the effective function of the safe management system we have to ensure that the document of compliance they shall be subjected to annual verification within 3 months before or after anniversary date to confirm effective functioning of the safe management system master of a vessel keep on board a copy of document of compliance and shall when requested proceed it for verification we have to ensure that master of vessel keep on board a copy of document of compliance and shall when requested produce it for verification okay a safety management certificate has been operation for at least three months on board at least one of ship of each shape operator by the company document of complaint shall be operated or subjected to any verification within three months before or after the anniversary date to confirm the effective function of the safe management certificate master of a vessel keep on board a copy of document of complaint and shall when requested produce it for verification safety management certificate smc safety management certificate the safety officer shall issue a safety management certificate to each ship to ensure that company and its shipboard management system operate in accordance with the approved safety management system. We have to ensure that safety officer he shall issue a safety management certificate to each ship to ensure that company and its shipboard management system operate in accordance with the approved safety management system. Safety management certificate they shall be issued for a period not exceeding five years. We have to ensure that safety management certificate they shall be issued for a period of not exceeding five years okay the safety officer may delegate the evaluation of the evidence the safety officer he will delegate the evaluation of the ev evidence here there may be compliance of the, with the ism code maintenance of safety management system to an organization recognized by the authority as being capable of carrying out such evaluation or the marine administration of other conducting government here we have to say that maintenance of safety management system to an organization recognized by the authority as being capable of carrying out such evaluation or marine administration of another conducting government safety management certificate they shall be subject to at least one intermediate verification to confirm the effective functioning of the safety management system and that any modification carried out since the previous verification comply with the requirements of ism code okay the safety management certificate this shall be subject to at least one intermediate verification to confirm the effective functioning of the safety safety management system and that any modification carried out since the previous verification comply with the requirements of the ism code we have to ensure that and safety officer he may withdraw the safety management certificate if there is evidence of major non-compliance with the approved safety management system here if the safety officer have the authority to withdraw the safety management certificate if there is lack of if there is evidence of the major non-compliance with the approved safety management system thank you